today on Victorious Living. I don't have to do anything wrong to get because it's God's desire to give. If I had time, I'd go to the scripture that said, He's given us all things to enjoy. Hallelujah. He has provided things, amen, not for us to love them and to attach to them, but to enjoy them. It's all right to live in a nice house. It's all right to wear nice clothes. It's all right to drive a nice car. It's all right to eat a steak, hallelujah. But don't ever forget where your blessing come from. Hallelujah. This is Victorious Living from the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church based in Jackson, Mississippi comes this edition of Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Fortson. Genesis, the fourth chapter. We would read verse one through verse seven. This morning, I'm going to invite you to read along with me. Verse 1, And Adam and Eve knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, From the Lord. Read. But Cain was tiller of the ground, it came to pass, the king brought the fruit of the ground and offered unto the Lord. And Abel also brought of the firstling of the flock and of the fat thereof. The Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very rough. Verse 6. The Lord said unto Cain, Why are you rough? If thou countenance fallen, if thou doest well, be accepted. Sin lies at the door, and unto thee shall be a desire. Father, I thank you for your goodness, for your love, your kindness, for the presence of your spirit. Thank you for our gathering this day. Thank you for blessing we've already experienced and received. Let that blessing continue to flow. Be with your manservant. Bless your people through your spoken word. Heaven will be done in our midst. Let thy name be praised. Bless those that are present, but yet those that are absent. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. In our passage of scripture today, we read, whereby the first family were beginning to prosper, but any time growth take place and prosperity take place, problem always going to work its way in the midst. It's our job to keep the problem out. If we pay, verse 7 is a verse that we probably would put great emphasis on today, but notice that in verse 5, the Bible said that, uh, well, verse 4, and Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had no respect. And all of a sudden, Cain got mad. Our subject today is given that God respect, given that God respect. I want to ask you today, church, 
Who are you trying to please? Amen. Who are you serving? Who are you trying to please? Who are you serving? One of the real problem, many times we think that we got where we are ourselves. Some of us think we are self-existent. A lot of us feel like we got it going. And you the vehicle that making things happen. Hallelujah. Don't blame the devil for doing his job. As long as he be able to operate, he's going to operate at his best. In paradise laws, the devil was not bound. He was loose in paradise. And lo and behold, he messed up people in paradise. Now I understand why, amen, that he's going to have a pit that he's going to have to rest for a thousand years. And after then, he's going to be left loose for a little while. And then he's going to be cast into hell itself eternally. Hallelujah. Because the only way to keep the devil from operating, you have to get him, amen, away from the peoples of God. But he hasn't been bound yet, you all. He is very much a loose. Loose, hallelujah. So he got loose and he was loose in heaven and all of a sudden, amen. Two people that had everything. Trees that they could eat from. Paradise with all of its beauty. It was just one tree put over there. And, you know, it's amazing. God said, everything here you can enjoy, but just stay away from that one tree. Hallelujah. God gave them the gift of choice. In other words, you can choose to obey me. You can choose to serve me. Or you can choose to disobey me. Hallelujah. It's the enemy job to get you to not obey him. You're subject to be influenced. Hallelujah. Don't think that you're beyond temptation. You're not. If you would listen to the devil, hallelujah, amen, he can talk you out of heaven. But you can't let it happen. And so... He calls Adam and Eve to disobey God. And they got put out of paradise. But I want you to understand that sin is progressive. Hallelujah. It started with just eating an apple or orange or some type of fruit. You can call it whatever you want to. But they ate the fruit that they should not have eaten. So they, amen, just disobeyed God. That was the first sin. But their children, you all, hallelujah, they committed murder because sin get progressive. Hallelujah. I, I know y'all say it's bad now, right? But you wait until after a while. Hallelujah. The Bible said it's going to wax worse. I, I feel sorry for my grandkids and my kids Kids, 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 if the Lord don't tarry, hallelujah. And, and I know y'all expecting for the world to just go in poverty. No, I want you to know, amen, the world is uh, going to get the one world government and, and, and it's going to be powerful and strong. Yeah, they're going to be pestilent and famine and all these things, but that's coming as a result of sin and as a result of punishment. Amen. But I want you to know, amen, yeah, there are going to be great buildings and great accomplishment and all kind of wonderful things going to happen. Hallelujah. But I want you to know, amen, that in the midst of all of this, going to be a whole lot of evil. 
Hallelujah. But we as the people of God, we got to get it right now. Hallelujah. In order that we will have it right after a while. I, I don't want you, amen, amen, just impressed. Hallelujah. I want you to have a, a God in your heart, amen, and you stand firmly for him and live for him. I want you to know we're living in a day when a shout is not good enough. Hallelujah. That got to be alive. There got to be a real commitment to God. Hallelujah. It's time for us to be mature saints. Hallelujah. We can't be tossed by every wind and doctrine. Hallelujah. We can't be moving, shaking, amen, by every little thing. Notice, I accept you today. It is given that God respect. I want to talk about giving because giving is part of what we do. Amen. Don't y'all know who the number one giver is? Somebody say yes. Just in case you don't know, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible said that he was rich, but he became poor. That through his poverty, that we may be rich. And that is, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God but he took on himself amen the form of a servant and the likeness of a man and he became obedient to God even unto the flesh he stripped himself of everything that he had even the blood from his vein for our sake hallelujah amen but I want you to know that his greatest suffering brought about his greatest victory. Hallelujah. Likewise with us, you all, if you're going to be successful, you got to suffer. The problem is we don't want to suffer. Hallelujah. We, 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 we don't want to hurt in the pains and the letdown and the disappointment. But Jesus said, how in the world are if you allow me to paraphrase it, how in the world are you going to follow me without suffering if I'm going to the cross? Hallelujah. Don't you know the way to the cross is nothing but suffering? He automatically, he was, he, he was straightforward with you. He said, look, if you're going to be my disciple, you might well get your cross and put it on your shoulder. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to get to the point whereby we can't stand nothing. Hallelujah. When Jesus took everything. Amen. We got to serve God out of our heart. Given, I got a few notes today. Matter of fact, quite a few. And and because we only gonna utilize, we only gonna use about twenty minutes. But I want to say this. When it comes to the church, giving is to God. Hallelujah. I, I just want to talk plain, if, if you would allow me. When you bring an offering to the kingdom of God, you're not taking it to a kingdom out there somewhere. Hallelujah. You're bringing it, amen, to God's kingdom. Where is God's kingdom? It is his church. When you bring an offering, amen, you're not bringing it to me. Some pastor got it wrong. They think uh, perhaps it's given to them. Amen. 
I am very fearful when it comes to that which people give to God's kingdom. Amen. Because God let me know that I'm a stood. And if I don't be found a faithful stood, I, I'm in trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I learn. Hallelujah. Amen. I can be faithful to what God say do. Hallelujah. And God will bless me more than I would ever imagine. I don't have to do anything wrong to get because it's God desire to give. If I had time, I'd go to the scripture that said, he's given us all things to enjoy. Hallelujah. He has provided things, amen, not for us to love them and to attach to them, but to enjoy them. It's all right to live in a nice house. It's all right to wear nice clothes. It's all right to drive a nice car. It's all right to eat a steak, hallelujah. But don't ever forget where your blessing come from. Hallelujah. Amen. We ain't no poor people. Hallelujah. We're not somebody that are down and out and homeless. That's not who we are. I just want us to do right by God. Hallelujah. I just want us to understand that it is us that can turn the hydrant on or we can cause it to continue to be cut off into our life. I, I, I want you to have an eye popper this morning. I, I, I want to awaken your mind when it comes to giving. It's beautiful, you all. It is beautiful. Uh, 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 don't y'all know why Pastor uh, Stevenson is able to come here and raise an offering and jump up and down and run around and get happy? Because he believed in giving. He got a giving spirit. Hallelujah. He helped a lot of people in church that get in trouble. And you know what? He don't even charge. Amen. Now, don't you try to go to him and look for free service. <laughs> Amen. Don't try to go to him for free service. Amen. Because he said he, he helps saints. Amen. That really ain't got nothing to give. And God actually, amen, sent him a big case, amen, to take care of an annual needs. Hallelujah. How, how many know you can't be God-given? No matter how hard you try. A lot of pastors believe that when you bring tithes, you're bringing it to the pastor. Look, pastors, I want to tell you, you do not own tithes. Hallelujah. Tithes is given to the high priest. And I want you to know that once Jesus became high priest, he never gave up that position. Hallelujah. He is the one that's sitting by the throne of God, pleading your cave. Every time the devil said, destroy them because they've done wrong. He said, don't do it. He said, remember cavalry. Remember the blood. You can't be no high priest. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, you, you got a right, amen, to enjoy the hide of your labor, but you ain't no high priest and tithes don't belong to you. Whatever you, amen, whatever you get, you need to pay tithes too. Hallelujah. You need to give as well. I want to set the record straight. Hallelujah. Amen. The religious institution, amen, God's house, God's church, amen, is not a, a, a place whereby men can embrace and, and, and get world success. God didn't create his church for our success. He created the church for our service, our laboring. Hallelujah. Amen. But at the same time, the church is a great blessing. Amen. All I want to know is what God wants me to do. All I want God to do is just direct me and show me. Let me tell you this. I, I, I've gotten to the point, y'all. Amen. And I know I've got to get back on target if I'm going to complete this message uh, uh, in the next few Sundays. But <laughs> if God puts something in our heart, that means that he's already provided means for it to accomplish. Hallelujah. You don't start out when God tells you to do something and you wonder whether you're going to get there or not. 
That ain't the way God work. You just need to hear God on the front end. And he'll be there with you on the back end. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Another point that I want to make. God is the owner of whatever you have. Hallelujah. I, I want a cup of scripture, Irvin. I want you to know that. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that we own, you all, God is already the owner of it. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 7, I, I want you to read that, 1 Corinthians 4 and 7, and then I want Psalm 24 and 1. Just those two verses. Now, if God already owned it, why not do the right thing towards God? Hallelujah. I, I know who owns uh, uh, the car I drive, the house I live in, the wife that I have, the children that I have, the clothes that I wear, amen, and the thing that I have. I know who the real owner is. Read. For who maketh thee to differ from another? All right, read. And what hast thou that? Now, and I want to say to y'all, forget about trying to be like somebody else. That ain't nothing but a covetous spirit. Hallelujah. God made you like he want you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't got to look like you or act like you or even be like you or have what you got. It's a shame that you're not happy with your own self. Hallelujah. I'd rather be Robert, hallelujah, than to be President Obama and Trump. <laughs> hallelujah. Y'all yeah, 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 may not um, quite understand, but I'd rather be who I am than to be Gabriel. Hallelujah. Because God made me what I am, and God didn't make no mistake. mistake. The scripture tell, tell us that we are wonderfully made, and when he made us, he made us fearfully. Hallelujah. He took his time. He put his heart into it. And marvelous is that work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at yourself and tell yourself, this is God's product. God is the maker. And not only is he the maker, he is the keeper. And look, he didn't make you, hallelujah, out of strap. You know, sometimes you make stuff out of strap. You just kind of piece it together since it's all gone. Uh-uh, hallelujah. He made you, hallelujah, out of the major chorus. Hallelujah. Hey, y'all, I'm not making up nothing. I'm preaching God's word. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. You stop letting the devil, amen, get you down in your own self. It nothing bothers me like a person that don't have self-esteem. Look, why put yourself down? People are already putting you down. You need to lift yourself up. Now, don't fool yourself. You ain't up yonder. <laughs> don't let pride get in you. Don't let pride get in you. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. The devil, amen, he's good at that. You know, the devil works all kinds of ways. He'll make you feel like you're nothing. And then time you get a little something, he'll make you feel like you, amen, it's the best thing in the house. Tell the devil, hallelujah, I don't need you, hallelujah, to validate me. I know who I am. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't classify me, devil. Hallelujah. And you know, you got to watch people sometimes. Sometimes they'll get in your head. They'll try to make you, make you, amen, be the best thing that ever happened. And if you, amen, just don't want to get into confrontation, tell them thank you. And then you just go on and you say to yourself, I know who I am. Hallelujah. But this passage of scripture says what? 
For who maketh thee, who to, maketh thee to, differ to differ from another? One from another. And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? I, I want you to act. If I'm on the, I just want one person to raise your hand and tell me what do you have that you didn't receive? Can't get a hand? Everything that you got, it was given unto you. You don't have nothing, hallelujah, amen, that you are the manufacturer of it. Hallelujah. Everything you got was given to you. I, I, I told you everything you got belongs to God. Job was the richest man, hallelujah, in the east. He was loaded. He had it going. But when it came to his suffering, he said, naked I came, and naked shall I retire. Let me tell you what you own. What's yours is what you're going to take with you when you leave here. Hallelujah. Absolutely nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if it's yours, take it with you. Hallelujah. I, I'm, 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 I'm laying the foundation now where I can start preaching after a while. <laughs> hey, y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. Because when you recognize, hallelujah, that what you got came from God, amen, maybe you have the right attitude towards God with it. It's bad when God do something for us, hallelujah, and then we have, amen, an attitude problem. It's bad that God can't pick you up without you forgetting from where you come from. Can't do nothing for you until you get beside yourself. He told Israel, he said, look, I'm going to bless you. Brought you out to bring you in. Didn't choose you because you were the greatest, but you was among the fewest. Hallelujah. But he said, I want you to do me a favor. When you get over there, live in houses you didn't build. Drink from wells you didn't dig. Eat from vineyard you didn't plant. Sleep on furniture, hallelujah, that you didn't even buy. He said, don't forget me. God is telling us today. He said, please don't forget me. Hallelujah. You didn't get where you are all by yourself. It was me that brought you. Hallelujah. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. That's what he's telling us. Hallelujah. I, I want y'all to know this. God takes great pleasure in taking care of us. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like a copy of today's message, need prayer, or have questions about receiving Christ in your life, Give us a call at 601-354-2599 or visit our website at gbtchurch.org. Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Forkson is brought to you by the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, Jackson, Mississippi.